All right, Coach, off to a 2 and a start, two wins at home. What's your early assessment of what this team's looked like so far? You know, I'm real happy about where we're at um, this early in the season. Um, we obviously got a lot of things we got to continue to improve on, a lot of areas that we got to continue to work hard to get better at, and uh, we'll work on those. We got some things we got to clean up. If we were perfect after the first two games, I'd be concerned. Um, we're not perfect. We're, we're a long way from being perfect, but we're a long way from when we need to be perfect. And so, we've got a tough weekend coming up, but I'm just real excited about being 2 0 right now. You and I talked about how it's, you were excited about new faces plus the returning players, and I think. Everybody could see both of that this yeah. weekend with you know, Shandrika having a scoring night, Medina having a scoring night. Yeah. It's got to be exciting knowing having them in your backcourt. They can go off, and it doesn't really matter who does it. They both can contribute to give you big nights at any given moment. Exactly. They're big-time scorers. They're two of the better guards in our league. They have experience. Um, when you talk to one of them as a senior and the other one's a junior, they've started in this league and played in our program for three and four years now. And, and so it's exciting to have both of them. It makes me sleep well at night. They both can really score it. And uh, obviously with them being um, experienced players, you throw in a couple of younger players with um, like a Promise Taylor that gets SEC Freshman of the Week, um, her first week in uh, playing college basketball. That's exciting. Um, and so just real excited about where we're at there. What do you think about some of the other players? Prom is obviously going to be the one that gets the attention, but yeah. a couple of the other transfers and other players who were in the program last year got more minutes, different roles. What do you think of the other contributors? I was just real happy with everybody in our program. Obviously, Promise gets a lot of attention because of being freshman of the week and things like that. But um, as, as we talked about yesterday, is when an individual award is a team award. And, um, you know, she, she got that award, and that's great. And she, I know she's, we're real proud of her, and she's real proud of getting that. But at the end of the day, our team played well. Everybody played well. Um, Kate Rogers, Bree Glover didn't play a lot of minutes last year, played extremely well. Shelby Gilson is starting to get herself back going, playing well right now. Marley Hatcher, Barbara Johnson, um, Denisha Banks, um, China Nixon, all of them just played really well and just real proud of them. I thought Barbara Johnson played, um, started getting going a little bit there, got going a little bit in the second half against Kennesaw State. That was exciting. Hopefully she can build on that as we move into the weekend. It's a lot of players you named. <laughs> it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. We play a lot of players right now. And so you know, it's just still, we're still trying to get a rotation. Uh, I think a lot of times this time of year, um, you're not at your best because you're playing so many players. And we're just tr still trying to figure some things out. And, um, you know, it'll be, it'll be another couple of weeks before we really get everything solidified on what we want. But uh, we're excited about where we're at and excited about the talent that we have and, and where we're going. Uh, taking Medina home, always exciting. How big is that to get a player who's been with the program showing you what the value to being an Ole Miss Rebel is, getting her to go home? You know, it's exciting. Um, we took Alyssa Alston home her first year here. Uh, we take players home each, each and every year. And, um, and so it's exciting for Medina to be able to go home and play in Chicago. Um, as I'll talk to her today about it's not put too much pressure on herself um, to go out there and, and to play her game, and that's all she needs to do. And if she'll do that, she'll have a lot of success. I know her mom and dad's excited. I know her friends. I know her. Her high school and her travel team coach are both excited, and so it's. I'm excited for her, and I look forward to watching her play um, this weekend, and, and look forward to seeing her family. What a great family they are, and looking forward to seeing them. And you're playing some really good teams, and you talked about challenging yourselves early. That was yeah. the goal this year. Uh, what are you trying to come away with here when you go up to Chicago? You know, playing two teams that have probably been in this way tournament. Um, St. Louis and um, DePaul both are projected to be in the tournament. Um, I, I, I suspect them both being there. I, I think they'll both be there after watching them both on, on, on film. They're both very, very talented. And so we know we got our hands full with those two teams, and uh, we're excited about the challenge. We're excited about the opportunity to get better.